Dubai is a land of extremes. It's extremely hot, it's extremely full of money, and it's extremely shiny. So it's a place where outrageous things exist just because people have enough money to do whatever the heck they like. From building ski resorts in the middle of the hottest part of the world to flying cars, here are 20 outrageous things you'll only see in Dubai. Number 20. Abandoned Supercars in Dubai It seems that one of the maddest things about having so much money is that you can just leave your stuff wherever you like and simply forget about it, even if that stuff happens to be a whole bunch of fancy sports cars, apparently. In fact, it seems that so many people just leave their supercars in airports and car parks all across the country that it's actually considered an epidemic. I mean, seriously, what is going on here? Now, between 2,000 and 3,000 luxury vehicles are abandoned every single year, so this is an epidemic of forgetfulness. I mean, we've all done it, you know? You park your car and you go back several hours later and you just can't remember where exactly you left it. But frankly, the worst that ever really amounts to is looking on a few different levels of a parking structure rather than literally leaving it in a foreign country forever. The mind does boggle. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Here we have a peek into what we're told is one of the most outrageous things that the uber wealthy of Dubai like to do to pass the time. If you were a hedonistic rock star in the 60s and 70s, then driving a car, usually a Rolls Royce it must be said, into a swimming pool was at the top of your to-do list. So perhaps when you have more money than sense, well, this is the thing that you suddenly feel compelled to do. If that is what this picture is actually all about, are rich people people in Dubai visiting a special facility to get that rock star feeling? Tell me what you think of all this silliness. Is this how the rich people of Dubai spend their money? As always, let me know your ideas in the comment section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Exotic Pets in Dubai like many of the unusual things on this list, owning an exotic or unusual pet was considered a status symbol. Wealthy individuals have had a particular penchant for the expensive and frankly irresponsible ownership of wild animals. It was not unusual to see wealthy individuals walking their pet tigers on the beach, for example, although most of the time they probably employed a professional tiger walker for the task. So while it might be standard practice to swan around town in your supercar, you could really increase the fancy factor if you threw in a big cat in the back seat or perhaps a cheetah peeping through the sunroof. Mercifully, back in 2017, it became illegal to own big cats as pets in the UAE, so I'm sorry, but the days of crocodiles in your convertible are sadly over. Number 18. Gold Vending Machines You know how it is. It's late at night, all the jewelers are closed, and you just can't get to your favorite gold bar and take it out of the bank vault until they open at 9 a.m. But you just need to get your hands on some lovely shiny gold. Well, luckily, Abu Dhabi is leading the way in crazy luxe vending machine items, and if you're jonesing for some gold and you can't wait for the shops to open, well then they've got you covered. This gold dispensing vending machine is located in the lobby of the fancy schmancy five-star Emirates Palace Hotel. You'll likely as not need to be generously endowed in the wallet department to stay here, let alone use this crazy vending machine. It contains 24 karat gold bars and coins, for a price of course, but don't despair. The company behind it says the prices are very competitive. Well, that's a relief then. The gold to go vending machine is the first of its kind in the world. It dispenses gold bars weighing 1, 5, and 10 grams, as well as gold coins. The machine accepts cash and credit cards. It's about 6 feet tall, depending on how much gold it has inside of it. It can weigh anywhere up to 1,000 pounds. This is all useful info for the heist that you are definitely not planning right now. Number 17. Bus Stops with Air Conditioning 
Dubai is a gas-guzzling land of car lovers. There are a thousand ways to express your wealth through the vehicle that you drive, so catching the bus is an unlikely scenario for most residents. However, if you do have to take the bus, you know, if your Land Rover or your Lambo are both being polished or something, then you don't have to suffer the insane desert heat. Lucky you. That's right, even the bus shelters in the UAE are air-conditioned. Since 2007, public transport users have been able to rest in air-cooled comfort while awaiting their transportation. Dubai has 636 bus stops, which are fully equipped with air conditioning. Abu Dhabi is hot on their heels with plans for a whole string of their own chili facilities as well. So why let a simple thing like the desert sun get in the way of your entertainment? Number 16. An Underwater Experience the thing with Dubai is that, as a country, it likes to have the biggest or shiniest or most expensive version of whatever it might happen to be. Well, why not? I mean, go big or go home, right? In fact, one of their big boasts is that of the world's largest indoor aquarium. And yes, it has been accredited by the clipboard crew from the Guinness Book of World Records, so it is official. That size is recorded as having a colossal capacity to hold 10 million liters of water. In that titanic tank, there are more than 33,000 aquatic creatures from over 200 different sea-dwelling species. That's a whole bunch of shark rays and all the fun ones. The underwater zoo aspect of the aquarium is located on the second floor of the center, and this is where visitors can expect to find all kinds of fun facts and information about the creatures that they've encountered in the aquarium. It's just staffed by marine experts and has a range of interactive experiences. As you would expect from a modern and cutting-edge educational center with a massive budget, you know. So the Dubai Mall Aquarium, yes, it's located at the mall, and Underwater Zoo are the brainchild of an Australian design company. And it turns out that if you're a wacky old interior designer with lofty ideas and the desire for a sky's the limit budget, well, then Dubai is the place to get your maddest plans made into reality. This particularly bonkers scheme is really well liked and has achieved a whole load of awards and accolades, as well as the coveted world record. Number 15. The World's Largest Man-Made Island if you're trying to convince world travelers to come visit your luxury tourist destination, you really have to offer them a selection of beaches. Unfortunately for Dubai, this country is lacking in the natural beach department, but what they lack in sandy seafronts, they make up for with, well, money. Lots and lots of money. And if there is one thing that we all know about money, it's the people with a lot of it can basically do whatever the heck they like. So with that in mind, it's probably no surprise that Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the dude behind most of Dubai's transformations, put in motion the plans for a massive man-made island. This would not only be the biggest on the planet, always a goal in the UAE it would seem, but also solve the lack of beaches issue in the process. The result of this harebrained scheme is the Palm Trilogy. This is a group of three especially twirly palm-shaped islands which has a mind-boggling surface area of 46.35 million square meters, making it bigger than Paris. It will be able to house over a million people and not just in regular accommodations. This is Dubai after all. The spaces will be the most fancy and luxurious with multiple beachfronts and endless ways to spend more and more money, just the way it's all designed to be in the UAE. Number 14, the tallest building in the world. Back along, there was often a kerfuffle about which building was the world's tallest. This seemed to be something that many countries aspired to be achieving within their borders, and in recent times, however, it would appear that, like all the other biggest and shiniest things, the UAE has this area covered as well. The Burj Khalifa is a huge towering structure which has taken the title of world's tallest structure. There are some crazy numbers involved in the existence of the Burj Khalifa. This building is a staggering 2,760. 16 feet and 6 inches tall, so it's no wonder that it's known as a vertical city. The structure took a total of 12,000 people from across the globe. It's clad with 26,000 hand-cut glass panels, and of course, that takes a heck of a lot of cleaning. Three months to complete, in fact. Number 13. World's Highest Tennis Court 
Now, if you don't suffer from vertigo but enjoy a spot of tennis, well, here's a fun one that's just for you and your posh sport. Get yourself up to the top of the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai, where they have long ago converted an old grass helipad into a much more useful tennis court. Located at 650 feet, this is a real challenge for the ball boys and girls who are tasked with retrieving the balls hit out of the court. It sucks to be them, I should imagine, or indeed any unfortunate passer by that might feel the resulting gravity of the situation. So, in a way, these novelty but expensive sorts of sporting things have managed to coax Roger Federer and Andre Agassi up there to knock out a couple of balls, thus cementing this place in the guidebooks. Oh, such fun, and a legal way to be high on grass in a country where that can actually land you in very hot water. Number 12. Indoor Ski Resorts well, this one makes perfect sense. A country that's located smack dab in the middle of the flipping desert seems a super obvious place to locate a ski resort. It kind of stands to reason that rich people, you know, the ones who generally do all the freaking skiing, that they would require a ski slope, even in the most inappropriate place on earth. The indoor ski slope is called Ski Dubai. It's 22,500 square meters of ridiculousness. The whole space has to maintain a temperature of minus one degree degree to 2 degrees Celsius, and this is in the middle of a country where the average annual temperatures range in 20 to 37 Celsius. No doubt the energy required to keep these constant freezing conditions would be enough to power a small country. This bonkers place features such delights as an 85-meter high indoor mountain, which is about the same as a 25-story building, and has a total of five slopes of varying difficulties. In fact, they boast to have the world's first indoor black diamond run, if you like that sort of thing. And just like an outside ski resort, this place is equipped with ski lifts, sled and toboggan runs, and a few extra things which include giant snowballs, climbing towers, and an ice cave. But don't worry if you forget to pack your ski gear for your beach holiday. You can purchase everything you might require in nearby stores, and if all this isn't sufficiently insane enough for you, why not chuck a few penguins in as well? That's right, there are penguins running around in the middle of the desert. Number 11. Bugatti Veyron Police Car I don't know what kind of vehicles the cops drive where you live, but likely as not, it's something relatively standard, even if a souped-up version. In the UK, they use fast cars from BMW and Mercedes, amongst others. And in the United States, police tend to favor the big American makes like Chevrolet, Dodge, and Ford. The models do vary from state to state, and which aspect of policing they're used for. This all seems kind of standard, really. Police driving vehicles that are modern and well-equipped with the kind of engine that can generally perform pretty effectively when required to do so. But in Dubai, well, their police cars will literally outperform almost every other vehicle on the entire planet. Because Dubai just does everything bigger and shinier and with a more lavish show of money than anywhere else on Earth. So of course their police cars are not just regular old boring cars, they're supercars. In fact, they boast the Guinness World Record for the fastest police car ever. That car is the Bugatti Veyron, one with an average price of close to $2 million, by the way. The head of Dubai's Police Transportation and Rescue says that the car was not intended to be for showing off. Apparently, it's just to show tourists how friendly the police in Dubai are. Yes, that's precisely what 253 miles per hour illustrates. Friendliness. Number 10. Diamond and Golden Cars this is a country where wealth and luxury are visible on every corner, so if there was going to be a car that was made of gold and studded with jewels, well, this is where you should expect to find it. The only thing is, it's a teeny weeny one. It takes an optimist, or perhaps a chancer, to attempt to sell a model of a car that's carved from solid gold for almost seven and a half million dollars before the thing's even been made. But I guess that German artist Robert Gulpin has a bit of the opportunist in him as he proposed the creation of a Lamborghini Aventador LP704 
His version, though, would measure 25 inches long, but would actually cost 16 times more than a full-size version. So in short, although the car would be made of gold, you could not technically drive it. And if this doesn't sound like some kind of bonkers, I really don't know what is. Gulpin created an even smaller prototype version of the golden vehicle that he sent on a tour of wealthy places, all in the hopes of enticing a buyer to commission the bigger version. This little prototype is so valuable itself that it has to have a record-breakingly secure bulletproof display cabinet wherever it goes. Let's all just hope that this is one golden carriage that doesn't turn back into a pumpkin at the stroke of midnight. Number 9. Golden Toilet if there was anywhere in the world that you might expect to find a golden, diamond-studded toilet, then Dubai might be that place. Or perhaps Trump Tower, maybe. The world record for the most number of diamonds set on a toilet bowl goes to this crazy creation that was unveiled at Dubai's amazing museum and art gallery. So, breaking world records, that's a bit of a mixed bag of skills and just putting a lot of something into one place at the same time. This particular world record falls most firmly into the latter category. Frankly, any one of us could cover a Kazi in gold and diamonds, if we had a lot of gold and diamonds, that is, and you would be forgiven for wondering whether or not this is the absolute best use of these resources. This diamond-encrusted toilet seat is studded with a mind-boggling 40,815 diamonds. which total 334 carats. That adds up to a cool $1.28 million, all for a toilet bowl. You know, the place where people sit down to take care of business. I mean, you can't even see the toilet when you're sitting on it, so it probably doesn't really matter if it's a shiny and gold or heliotrope for all that actually does for the functionality of this essential item. Anyways, yet again, this is one of those crazy things that goes to show that there may in fact be a thing as too much money. Number 8. The Museum of the Future in Dubai it seems that the Museum of the Future is exactly that. It does not exist yet, but it remains firmly in the future. But when it eventually arrives, the general idea behind this museum appears to be very modern indeed. It claims that it will be a place of immersive experiences in which visitors can learn about the potential development of outer space, bioengineering, health, spirituality, ecosystems, and many other cultural and social notions. You know, stuff for a shiny new future. The whole thing is due to include a theater, themed stuff and exhibitions, and all of it's set to be the biggest and shiniest version of a museum that you could ever imagine, naturally. I mean, it is Dubai, after all. Number 7. Dubai to build world's first temperature-controlled indoor city. I mean, why the heck not? We've seen ski slopes in the desert and air-conditioned bus stops, so obviously an entire indoor climate-controlled city just makes perfect sense. There is no plausible reason to consider using less energy these days, after all. The Mall of the World is actually planned to be the world's largest shopping center and is expected to pull in 180 million visitors each year. It will be literally the size of a ruddy city, so that just goes to figure. Air conditioning something of that scale seems perfectly sensible. I mean, nobody goes outside ever anyways, and the proposed mall is a 48 million square foot Goliath designed to incorporate some of the cultural elements of other famous places from around the world, like New York's Broadway and London's Oxford Street. It's designed to house the usual bunch of shops and stuff, but also a whole shed load of theaters, cultural places, and the world's largest indoor amusement park, as well as 20,000 hotel rooms and something known as medical tourism. Sounds like a party. Let's sign me up. Number 6. The First Flying Car in Dubai Finally, some futuristic stuff to get our juices flowing. All that money sloshing around has to occasionally hit on something more than dipping everything in gold or making a massive version of something. This completely driverless little pod is the latest transport option to grace the residents and visitors of the UAE. The autonomous air taxi is generally becoming a reality in Dubai. 
These flying pods are set for general takeoff by the year 2022 and have already been in development and taking flights all over the show for the last few years with some in use already. So, a future with everyone jetting about midair may be on the horizon in Dubai, but until they figure out exactly how to get everyone to stay in their lane, I think it might still be safer to be on the ground. If you can avoid all the speeding supercars that perpetually clutter up the streets, that is. Number 5. Superbus is a 15-meter-long supercar from Dubai. Back in 2011, a weird car-bus hybrid was designed and prototyped by a team from the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. This particular combo was seen as an ideal solution to the private vehicle requirements of a modern public transport user, and Dubai was the place to showcase the possibilities of such a type of transportation. So this thing claims to have as much oomph as a supercar with all of the luxurious comforts you would expect in such a vehicle as well. It also has the speed to a slightly lesser extent given its size, but it can still zip about quicker than your average city bus. The Superbus also has the feel of a limousine with its separate two-person seating arrangements. Its privacy and comfort are no problem. This is certainly no Greyhound bus. The drawbacks are likely obvious, though. It can only carry 23 passengers, about as many as a minibus, but nowhere near the number of regular sort of bus. The features in its favor aren't to be sniffed at, though. It's designed to travel along a dedicated speed track, which allows the Superbus to reach speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. That's a speedy 100 155 miles per hour, so the days of waiting in traffic would be over. And so the general idea of the 49-foot-long vehicle is to reduce pollution, improve congestion problems, and offer a greater degree of safety for the discerning, <coughs> wealthy consumer. And of course, there's that added benefit that you never have to search for a parking spot again. Number 4. Hotel has a designated turtle hospital. Well, this is nice. Finally, a use for all that money that doesn't involve dipping something in gold or encrusting it with diamonds. A turtle hospital. Ah. Oh. The Dubai Turtle Rehabilitation Project is based at one of the city's iconic hotels and is run by the Dubai Wildlife Protection Office. It's been up and running for over 15 years now and has saved and rehabilitated almost 2,000 turtles in that time. Hawksbill turtles and green turtles are the species that nest in the Arabian Gulf, so these are the animals that find their way to the sanctuary. Oftentimes, they're injured by being caught in fishing nets or from getting the waste from commercial fishing vessels tangled around them, and other times, these creatures can encounter the pleasure boat hordes out speeding around in their fancy yachts and golden speedboats. It's a risky business being any kind of marine animal in the waters these days. With pollution, dopey people, and garbage at every turn, the hazards are many. So, this hospital is doing important work clearing up some of the masses caused by the overconsumption and under-regulated money-making paradise of the free market economy. Tough time for turtles. At least there are some people who are willing to shell out to protect these beautiful creatures. Number 3. Best Safari now, if Dubai is going to do something well, well, this place will do it properly. That much is true. It's almost guaranteed that you'll not find a modest or understated version of anything in Dubai. It's all about pushing the limits of luxury, spending the biggest budgets, and overthrowing the ideas of what is possible. So why would a safari here be anything less than the best? Lots of different tours run in this part of the UAE, offering a veritable smorgasbord of desert safari experiences. So if what floats your boat is, well, an absence of boats or water, then this is likely to be right up your alley. There are, almost certainly not at all exploitative, boudoir experiences where visitors can hang out and puff on shisha pipes with tribal leaders. Or if you're more into animals, there are camel trekking treats and falconry fun Otherwise, there's a standard luxury 4x4 and sandboarding excursion to be had. All of this stuff is topped off with outdoor fires and barbecues and all the sunsets and belly dancing that you could hope for, if you like that sort of thing, you know. Number 2. Dubai Miracle Garden 
The fact that a lush green garden is growing in the middle of the desert is nothing short of a flipping miracle. So this place certainly has an appropriate name. Just how appropriate it is to divert so much water to a project of this kind in a waterless landscape in a country with just 2.7 inches of rainfall annually? Well, that's a question for the conscience now, isn't it? The Dubai Miracle Garden looks like Disneyland, except it's basically built out of flowers. The place may look pretty, but it's certainly no friend to the allergy afflicted. This sneeze fest has been open since Valentine's Day of 2013, and since then has welcomed around 1.5 million visitors every year. The self-proclaimed world's largest natural flower garden has more than 60 million flowers blooming at any given moment and changes its exhibitions throughout the year, guaranteeing an ever-evolving experience for the repeat visitor. As much as the stuff available in Dubai seems to be, this place is certainly a spectacle. They've had such delights on display as the life-size depiction of an Emirates Airbus A380 made entirely of flowers. It was bizarre enough to get our old pals at Guinness to come out and bestow it with a world record for largest floral installation, so you know it was a big one. Because those guys don't get out of bed for any old gas station flowers, you know. Number 1. Amphibious Car all the way back in 2014, it was apparently considered big news when Dubai's crown prince went shopping. On that particular occasion, he was purchasing no less than six high-speed James Bond-style amphibious cars, as one does, of course. These cars are not actually unique to Dubai. They were actually designed by a California-based company called Water Car, owned by a guy named Dave March. He had already secured his place as the inventor of the fastest amphibious car in the hallowed pages of the 2010 Guinness Book of world records, there's basically nowhere higher to go after such an acclaim, as I'm sure you know. Anyways, the model, chosen by the Crown Prince, was the then new for 2014 Python. This amphibious vehicle had a 450 horsepower Corvette engine and had a top speed of 60 miles per hour on the water. They retailed it for $135,000 a piece. Now that's a steal at twice the price. I just wonder if he got a discount for buying the party pack. Well, there you have it. Dubai is full of the shiniest and most expensive stuff. What did you think of all these things? And which of them seemed most outrageous to you? Which would you like to see in your hometown? As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.